One evening last fall, I was home and I started to feel a little tired. I was working on a report and I found that suddenly my fingers were tingling. Um, and then suddenly the right side of my face was tingling. And I said, oh my gosh, you know, something's going on. And I said, I think I might be having a stroke. I immediately told my husband I wasn't feeling well. Together we called my doctor and he said, you know what, you've got to get to the ER, um, go to the hospital. And he confirmed our suspicion that we might be having, I might be having a stroke that is. So um, one of my family members took me, you know, just trying to get there as quickly as possible. Although I would highly re recommend calling 911 um, because it's really critical that when you see signs of a stroke or a heart attack that you get, um, you call 911 so that you can get the immediate care that you need um, because it's a critical time. Um, but be that as it may, I did have a family member take me to the hospital, um, to the ER, as I said, during COVID. And once I got there, um, the ER physician said, well, you know, you're a little bit young to be having a stroke. Uh, let's run some, like some tests. Let's do some protocols first. I said, you know, I think I really, I told them my symptoms again. In fact, I was extremely fatigued, having trouble concentrating. My hands were tingling. The right side of my face was tingling. I said, you know, can you please just do an MRI and a CAT scan? I really had to, you know, at that point, I had to really advocate for myself because the doctor really had doubts that I was having a stroke due to my age. Um, but again, you know, I had to fight for myself and I did. And come to find out after doing the test, the CAT scan, the MRI, I was diagnosed with having a mini stroke. And at that point, you know, my greatest fear became a reality. Uh, in my family, we do have a history of stroke. Um, in my family, on my father's side, um, as well as heart disease. I myself have um, high blood pressure and um, recently was diagnosed with having high cholesterol. So with all those factors, I knew that, you know, I really had to kind of take better care of myself. And again, that night that my first fear became a reality. Um, I have a nine-year-old daughter, you know, a husband at home and a dog, Coco. And I was like, this is really, it was a wake up call for me. And for me, I realized at that point, I really have to fight for myself and do better. Um, I can't let genetics win this battle at all. Um, and at that point I realized that, you know, I have to take this very, very seriously, watch my blood pressure, you know, watch my, you know, my cholesterol. I went to see treatment after that diagnosis. i met with my doctors and they put me on the right path to what I think is now success. And so now I watch my weight. I walk with my dog every day, um, eat better, exercise. And again, now I feel like I'm on the right track to be able to fight this, this, this disease and this, um, my, my history, my family history.